So you start off with a skill and you're able to develop it in what it, you call, you got to first master the technique. All right. And then from the technique, you take it and turn it into a skill, meaning not only am I able to do this now in a slow motion manner. Now, when I'm boxing, I'm using this tactic and that starts to become what you call a skill. From that point, you graduate to skill sets. That means you've taken the liberty to increase the skill to a point where it's a multitude of them in bundled bundles now. And when you have those skills and they're bundled, that's when you can call them skill sets. You've gotten your muscle memory embedded. You've trained all of these muscles and it takes years, not weeks and days and months. You can you can pretend that you have it but the thing about it is you will soon have to get a receipt when you step up to that cash register and you lay your stuff down on the counter the reality is when you're in there against someone real you will find out if you really really own that skill set or not after you learn the skill set the next thing that follows that is understanding the concepts of putting those together so now you're in a different point levels 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 and these are the things that canelo is continually doing he's taking a technique he's mastering it and from that mastering that technique then he adds skills and that skill starts to turn to skill sets and then the skill sets turn to concepts and then once he's mastered the concept of that then he starts to add craft on top of that and his theory and then now once he's a complete package he starts to add wrinkles and the part of his career that he's at right now he's adding crazy wrinkles to it and that's why he's so difficult to deal with you can look at it from the outside but whenever you're inside of the ring you can never get that perspective watching videotape because now he knows you're going to make the same mistake that he made against Floyd judging what he saw during him and in being inside of the ring with another guy and that's kind of where people can go wrong so craft and wrinkles don't look like when you're first learning boxing the technique ain't the same it's an entirely different thing it's more of prize fighting tactics not technical boxing so therefore it doesn't look the same it doesn't look right most of the time it looks wrong but that's what I mean when I say it's levels to it. So don't judge people that you see because you don't know what level they're on. That, my friends, when it comes to pace and him being able to control it, that is called his corn. And that is inside of his soup. The next thing is the pressure, the mental pressure that he plies on the guy and he starts to rake him to the body and the head and mixing up his of all hooking off of uppercutting off of or leading off of and it starts to become a bevy of problems for the guy right this is what happens when you're in a real gym and you're learning all of these tricks of the trades some of the guys who are in the history of boxing the willie peps you got to study these guys you got to study girl guys like jersey joe you got to study these guys who had really really savage tactics like gene tunney these guys were smart educated fighters and at the same time so hard to figure out even jack johnson gave you a lot of tricks of the trade joe lewis absolute offensive juggernaut the most balanced fighter in all of boxing the history of boxing really was built off of heavyweights but over time the lighter weight classes became more popular in a lot of different ways but when you look at the heavyweights the guy who stayed the most balanced and had the most precise punch power and the pre most precision when it comes to his combination was Joe Lewis. Go watch highlights of him. And if you look at any of his fight, you'll see. And that's what Canelo is possessing. Balance, mental prowess, pressure. He's bursting the pipes. You can see in that fight that Callum, and I don't even really want to equate this, this, this post 
and make it about Callum because it's not. It's about Canelo in its entirety, the body of work. These are constants that you see in all of his fights. So when it's all said and done, I hope you got your pen and pad because we're closing it out now. That, my friend, was his. The next thing will be the footwork. And we teach our guys these tactics. As he started to get warm, he walked them down. And the tactic that he was using was those of Jersey Joe, James Tony. These weren't tactics that most Mexican fighters use. But these are his wrinkles. It wasn't what his style was built upon. But it's what he's added past his concept. He understands the concept of boxing because he's put in the work. He's been fighting since he was a kid. He's been a pro since like 17. I mean, in Mexico, you can do that. But the thing that has really made his game begin to permeate is now he's really mastering the science of grunt walking his man down and then not only that did he do that but after a while sixth seventh round he started to do the detroit prance which is little light jog i can't catch up with you the way i want to or you started the great escape a little bit faster so he as callum started to move faster away canelo stopped grunt walking them down and philly pranced them down he started to jog behind him and catch the rabbit and uh, that's what you start to see when that mental pressure is on you and you have a beautiful stylistic fighter like canelo alvarez bringing that heat throwing that smoke just taking no prisoner when it comes down to the guy who's in front of him that night and he display serious i mean these punches he was hitting um callum smith with some stuff that would mostly break any man down and when you see that it is almost like you feel for the guy because he just can't come up with an answer and his team was trying but offense defense the pace conscious of footwork and that Philly Prince, he stepped, doo, 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 closing it out, grunt walk him down. That's what we teach, man. That one is in, uh, a lot of you don't know that we have the digital courses. So that is in Philly Shell Volume 2, the Philly Shell, where you really show them the tech tactics on closing the guy when he's trying to get away because he don't want no more of that smoke and stuff and then the the just the variations of how to get the punches in there and you can see right there he was doing a hook off of and it doesn't matter which direction misdirectional punches that's in our peekaboo punch performance where it shows you different tactics on how guys who have great power still find ways to open you up and that's kind of what he did to amir khan he did it with triple g in the second fight a lot and of course he did it last night that uppercut and hook to the body rap rap wow it's just more of advanced and so that's what we teach but we also teach you not to take this lightly you have to follow up with clinics and really learn how much training per exercise that you need and um that's kind of what we do in our course for everybody is make sure that they don't come up short get excited and feel all happy because they've got to start doing the skill and become a master at it that's kind of it so uh that's our contribution to the sport of boxing so check us out see what it looks like and yeah that's peekaboo punch performance get that download it's free we're giving you just the excerpt of it so you can really get a, an idea of how that training looks next time you look at a fight you understand oh man this is this is crazy i i learned a couple of these drills and you'll see it Billy Shell 2, Volume 2, this. That's our gift to you. We don't just want you to watch our channel, so subscribe. Make sure that you're not goofing off and subscribe. Hang out with us. Follow the channel. We're getting it popping. And last but not least, the pressure, which is we, cl we classify that as the coin. That is the broth. All right? He cannot do this without a system and that's what you learn 
over a period of time, whenever you're in there and you see a guy like Canelo, he's become a master of a system. And now he can add those components and wrinkles and that pressure that he brings, that mental pressure. You could just see as it started to break his opponent down mentally, physically, his corner was broken down. His family was broken down. His fans, people in social media, they just it was mental pressure and that's kind of what the science of a scientist brings in a sport of boxing so let me know where you guys are from let me know where you at and the final component is his iq and the iq is the thing that gives the seasoning to this soup and it's the mexican soup bone that's what gives this entire lesson taste his IQ inside of the ring and outside of the ring because you can't get an IQ like that if you don't operate outside of the ring the same way you operate inside of the ring you make the right de decisions you live around the clock training your mind your body boxing and a lot of guys do not do that I'll say 80% of the guys who fight maybe 85 don't live it they just want it and canelo showing why he was 365 million dollar man why is he a pay-per-view star why is he a mega athlete in the sport of boxing because he continues to increase and improve his performances no matter who's he who he's in the ring with and that's it man that's all we got the five deadly venom that make up canelo alvarez's vegetable soup defense offense his mental pressure his attention to the detail when it comes down to his footwork and understanding the ring iq and that's all of those components but he's really doing it and that's what makes it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the time that we spent together. And I just wanted to educate you so you're watching the fight a lot different. And that you are able to appreciate the value of what it is we do. Um, I hope, like heck, that you take the time. And I think last time we gave away a heavy bag training program. Go out here and check it out. It's, it's a beautiful thing for you to go out there and try to see if you can implement that. And that's the Peekaboo Punch Performance. It's free. Uh, this book was written. The download, the guide gives you real instruction on how to play around with a little bit of boxing. Just don't come out there and try to step in there and get that smoke with Canelo. Enjoy it. That's our gift to you. We're closing the year out in a beautiful kind of way. Started off kind of rocking, but just like the triumph last night and throughout this year we've done it again boxing for the win until next time be blessed at god's speed subscribe and continue to follow us at master boxing across the board special shouts out to you guys and thank you guys for taking the time out to hang out canelo the mexican machine gun kids a problem <laughs>